When this girl gets on the school bus in the morning, the other kids shout names like nerd or ugly face or freak. So her mother wrote us a very tearful letter begging us to give her a makeover. That was a way of putting an end to the teasing and to give her daughter a self-confidence boost. So today, you'll see her get her hair, makeup, and clothing totally redone. And you'll also see teenagers today who say, leave me alone, mom, my looks make a statement. The family say, I don't know what you're trying to say, but stop saying it in front of me. These kids are also gonna go backstage for a total overhaul of their hair, makeup, clothes, and attitude. And by the end of the show, you're going to find out what happened when this girl went from nerd to knockout right here in our studio and then went back home to face the bullies on the school bus. You won't believe your eyes. Meet Sharon. Sharon says her wish in life is for her daughter, Leah, to get a makeover so she won't get picked on in school anymore. I don't know if it works that way. Sharon, this is a real problem for Leah, right? Yes. Tell me what's going on. Uh, the kids at school all make fun of her and call her names. Uh, she, she doesn't dress cool like the rest of them. Uh, she has her own meek style. Uh, she gets, uh, last year, she would get on the bus in the morning, and, the, and there's a group of girls that would count to three and yell, Leah sucks, and humiliate her and embarrass her. She, kids can be terribly cool, can't yes. they? Yes, they can. Uh, and I've talked to the school about it, and they've done what they can, but kids are going to be kids. Right. And the bad part is that I have, I've always taught all of my kids that it's not what someone looks like on the outside. Of course. It's their heart, look past their race, their physical characteristics. Um, but then she comes home crying and says, why can't they Leave see me. me on the inside? Does she do well in school? She does. She, she does, does well in school. Surprisingly well, yes. The reason they tease her, you said, is low self esteem. She has very low self esteem. Yes, she does. Because she was born at one pound. Uh, she weighed one pound six ounces when she was born. <laughs> so she's um, always been kind of fragile. Now, you say the school psychologist that you went to, what, what did the psychologist say? Well, I was, I was concerned about Leah's. Uh, not her academics, but her mental health, uh, right. concerned about her self-esteem. And so the school has a program, a psychological program, and I asked them to please, would they give her the test just to see how she was doing? And they, they did test her, and then they called a meeting with her school teachers, the counselors, and, the, and this uh, clinical psychologist who was a department head. And they were all very supportive about how good she was in school, her excellent grades. And but I brought up the fact that the kids just all made so much fun of her and how terrible this was. And the school psychologist, the department head, turned to me and said, well, Mrs. Walker, you've just got to face it. Leah's a nerd. <laughs> she will... <laughs> she has... The school psychologist told you that your daughter was a nerd. <laughs> Now, many of Leah's family members wrote us letters to express how they feel about Leah. So, uh, you have one? Yes, I have one from her grandfather. Uh, I've got to tell you, so many people did want to write letters on her behalf. She's very lucky, because a lot of people care, care about her. Uh, this is Dear Sally. I'm 66 years of age, and I would like to tell you about the sweetest, most loving young person I have ever known. She is my 15-year-old granddaughter, Leah. Leah has a problem with a lack of self-confidence and self-esteem, which are complicated by unfortunate critical comments by certain classmates and others. Her family has been very supportive of her. Leah is much in need of an appearance makeover and help in improving her confidence and esteem. I love Leah very much, and it thrills my heart when she puts her arms around my neck and says, I love you, Papa. It is my wish that she could get the help she so desperately needs to become a happy, well-adjusted young lady. Very sincerely, Bruce, the loving grandfather. Leah was, uh, this is a letter from Leah's grandmother who also wrote to us. 
Uh, I've, we've never been besieged by a family <laughs> like this in all the years we've been doing the show. Dear Sally, uh, this baby had a traumatic start in life, being four months premature. Uh, you would think that life would be kindly and her troubles would be over as she begins to grow and thrive, but such has not been the case. She is besieged with bad times. She's had to wear glasses since infancy. She has very poor eyesight, and she has to endure very cruel remarks from classmates, mm -hmm. not only behind her back, but they say things to her face. Um, she has low self-esteem. She asked her parents for a small radio with earphones, not because she wanted to listen, but to drown out the terrible remarks being said about her when she goes to and from school. Um, if you could get her a makeover and maybe some help with her self-esteem. Let's bring Leah out. Leah, come on out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Look, at, did you hear all that applause? It was just for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How bad is it in school? Lee? Well, uh, kids now um, make fun of me because of my shoes. These shoes right here. What's wrong with your shoes? Well, they say that wearing black shoes with white socks is not, you know, not, not cool or whatever. Not cool. And so they call me Hippie Walker. Hippie Walker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. They make fun of my hair. They call me funky yeah. hair. They make fun of my looks. They make fun of my clothes. They do everything. And how you does know? that make you feel? Very, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, very angry sometimes. Yeah. But very hurt. Me. Very, like. Very hurt. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know very well what you're saying because yeah. I was... I think I was one of those kids in school just like you, uh, okay. and uh, I never I did very bad marks. Unlike you, I was at, um, next up from the bottom of my class, mm -hmm. and uh, I was never asked out on a date, never asked to my school prom, <laughs> never any of that. So uh, I know, I mean, I, I know exactly how you feel. But you know what I learned? What? Almost all people who've gone on to some kind of success—not that I'm successful—but people have gone on. They've all been like you. Yeah. Because it makes them angry, and they turn around and they go do something with their lives. That's right. so. yeah. That's right. Let me ask you a question. In this whole high school, didn't any school. one of the popular girls ever come up and be your friend or ask? No. Not one. No. Not Never. one of them was brave enough to come up and. No. no. You're not going to cry on me. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> not have, you, have you ever had any dates in no. school? No. I've been Never? single for 15 years. You've been single? <laughs> You're only 15 years old. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Leah wrote us a list of reasons that she wanted to be here to get a makeover. Let me read uh, people the list. You want to make over, first of all, to attract guys. Yeah. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with you, my dear. If that's number one on well, your list, you want to attract a guy. To feel glamorous, yeah. to be thought of as pretty, to try new things, to change myself on the outside, to get a new style so people treat me better, and you said this could be the chance of a lifetime. So I'm wondering if you really understand what it is that we go through. You do, don't you? Bringing yeah. in all these people. Yeah. Okay. Leah, you know you're getting that chance today. What do you want us to do? How do you want to look? Uh, fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous. Let's meet Debbie. Debbie says her two kids, two 13-year-old Colby and 12-year-old Sheena, Sheena. Uh, look like freaks. Literally freaky, right out of the garbage can you think they crawled out of. <laughs> Dirty, but their clothes are meticulously clean, but you'd never know it. They write all over everything they can write on. They color everything they can color. Black nail polish, green nail polish, green lipstick, black 
orange, anything that's unusual, they'll put it on. My son wears makeup. People think he's a woman. It's amazing. They go, what a pretty little girl. And, I'm like, and he's like, you think he would learn from that, but he just sits there and goes, I'm a boy, and this is the way I like it. And he's just amazing. He, like, he wears more hairspray and more mousse in his hair than you can find in a salon. It's amazing. It's amazing. And my daughter's a model. She's a model. You would not believe it when she walks out here. She's done modeling jobs. Let, let's bring them out and see the piercings, the makeup, the surfing, the whole thing. Uh, come on out, Colby riot. and Gina. <laughs> I mean, this is a. Sh um, I mean, at the airport. I like at the it. airport. Yeah, but you look like a freak. At the airport, she tried. Hey. They tried to help a little guy with his luggage. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> he was scared to death of them. You sure you guys want a makeover? Because I think like you're enjoying all this. Why? Why? I do like you it. I love it. She hates it, so I'll we'll do it for her. But I love it. it. You can always change back. You can always change back. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it for her while while we're here, and she can see us. And then you and can then change when back. When we go home, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll right. just put it back. Unless we, we really like, like it. it. Okay. Before we send you backstage, let's Doubtful. talk to one more family. This is Lisa, who's been waiting quietly. Lisa has a 17-year-old sister. Right. And uh, the sister is a problem. What's the problem? Her name is Tracy. Tracy. Um, the problem for me is her look. She wears man's clothes, usually all ripped. She likes them ripped. Cool. Very, very baggy. I know everybody loves her. She's a wonderful, really wonderful nice. girl. Great personality. She just looks, she looks like a boy. She dresses like a boy. She has a lot of, she's very individual. She has a lot of body piercings. And I, and I think that's, that's a good part to Tracy, some of them. But she, she's carried it a little bit too far. Tracy, come on out. <laughs> I see the problem. Yes, I didn't mention the hair, did I? I, I no. saved the best for last. No, 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 Lisa, I see the problem. Before, I thought, okay, I've seen a lot of body piercing. This is not that unusual. I have 10 body piercings, ten. not nine. Ten. Sorry. May I ask where your pierces? Uh, I have three in this year, two in this year, two in the nose, one in the lip, one in the chin, and one in my belly button. No nipple rings? Or not yet. No, no. Not yet. I want, eyebrow. I want my eyebrow. both eyebrows and, and her her cheeks. Tongue. And her my tongue. tongue and my nipples. So that you'll just be a mess of holes, and <laughs> when you eat soup, it'll all pour out. Right? <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> there is a wedge being driven in the family to be serious right. about this. Tell us about it. Oh, it's it's crazy. I used to like I used to be really close to my mom and my, both my parents, but we don't have anything to do with each other. I, if I even when I go grocery shopping, I have to wash my hair and not spike it, take all my earrings. Oh, it's ridiculous. All right, let's send. Uh, Leah, Colby, Sheena, and Tracy backstage. Go ahead, kids, and we'll see you later. All right, let me introduce to you, if I can, please. This is Pat, all right? And uh, Pat says she's fed up with the way her 14-year-old, Tria, dresses. What's wrong with Tria? 
Well, first of all, Tria is a very beautiful young lady, um, just very attractive, very academically talented, very athletic, but her clothes just leave so much to be desired. I mean, she's wearing the oversized men's clothing, pants, the oversized tops. The they all are. That's what we're but hearing. But I mean, it's just, it's just, it doesn't make a statement. It just does, it makes a statement. It's an inappropriate statement. And I would like for her to really have a softer, more feminine appearance. I mean, I'm really getting so tired of these form fit, form fit less clothing that she's wearing. Same thing and that just all the mothers right. are saying. Now, you got us some home video of her closet, right? Yes. Let's take a look. We're now going to venture into Tria's closet. What do we have here? Jeans. More jeans. And still more jeans. Shirts. Men's, of course. <laughs> More men's shirts. <laughs> Let's not forget the sneakers. <laughs> the sneakers. The sneakers. <laughs> and still more sneakers. And you're wondering why I want a makeover for my beautiful daughter, Priya. Let's talk to Tria. Tria, come on out. <laughs> Tria looks cute to me. Thank oh. you. This is a man's shirt. The slash. Stand Look up, at Tria. Look Tria, at this. Stand up. Look at this. Look at this. Thank you. She has a shape. Look. Oh, my. But you could never Hold up. tell. First of all, let me tell you about my mom. She dresses up to clean the house. Well, I ain't never seen a person like this. Wait up. I am not asking Tria to emulate me. Oh. I just want her to be representative of Hold our on. family. This is what my mom values. wants. She wants me to wear flower dresses, ribbons in my hair, skip to school. <laughs> Come on, man. That's not me. No. No far. skipping to school for mother. <laughs> Come on, man. But no, not even going that far. But your just... mother is exceedingly glamorous woman. You can just eyeball her and tell Thank her Thank you. All oh, my friends say, why does she... Look, all right, I play basketball. All the other basketball moms could wear a jeans. I swear to God, I'm almost 15. I've never seen my mom wear a jean or a sweatshirt. I swear but to God, you want to know something? She's probably prettier than all the other No, mothers. she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, I, she's very, very she well. She won't even have any money in her pocket. She has to look glamorous. Come I on, think, Mom. Well, but that's her look. That, and she wants something like that for you. But that's not me. There are appropriate times for different types of right, dress. Right, right, right. I have purchased so many nice dresses for her. She I have wears three them dresses. one time. Three skirts. She wears three. them one time, and then Where we can't they? find them. She you doesn't no know. Idea. She doesn't. What did you do with She doesn't dresses? know. Uh, she Come on, Tria. It's what Sally. Talk They're to somewhere. Me. Where are you? Where? Yeah. What does she do with them? What does she do with them? Where are they? I don't they? like them. I don't know. They're somewhere. Well, they're not in your closet. No, no, not at all. You've hidden them somewhere? I didn't hide They're them. They're probably hidden them. very well. Like maybe thrown well, away. What, then why the heck are you going to have a makeover? What the heck can we do with you? Because she wants it. I think, Tria, this is a one-time occurrence, and I'm feeling that if you... Well, take your picture, and yes. then you go back to yeah, look at right. Exactly. Do it. do it for your mother. I am, I am. Do it for right. your saying... dear mother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please. All right. Please meet Beth. Beth says that her daughter, who is 14, named Tori, dresses like a slob. What does she wear? Well, uh, Sally, she has a body for a 14-year-old that she should show off. Instead, she's behind baggy jeans, ripped jeans, um, flannel shirts, baseball cap. She doesn't want to do her hair. Ponytail baseball cap. Doesn't want to do her... She, there is something very interesting about this. She used to be in pageants, in beauty pageants. She was little Miss Massachusetts, if you can imagine. And 
And uh, a boy even asked her to a dance, and she wouldn't go because she had to wear a dress at the dance, so she would not go. Right? That's right. And, uh, All right. Uh, you've tried to get Tori to wear things that are more feminine? Doesn't work? How old is she? She's 14, almost 15. Okay, let's bring her out and see what the problem is. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, don't she's look very at, pretty. Look at the face. Stop. Very pretty. If you wear a hat, you don't have to wash your hair, right? No, I do. I just don't feel like doing it. You don't it's, feel it's like... just easier to throw it back. Right. Uh, there's no dress that you've ever seen that you'd want to put on. No, not really. Not really. I wonder what we're going to do with this makeover. Uh, all right, Tori and Tria backstage with the others for your makeover. We'll see you later. Barbara and Artie, they say they're at the end of the rope with their 12-year-old daughter, Erica. That was who you saw in the beginning of the show. Erica, uh, they say, insists on dressing like a homeless boy. <laughs> okay, but it's an Erica, it's a girl. Uh, Barbara, what does she wear to uh, make her look like a boy? Sally, she's disgusting, okay? I just sprang, I mean, she's four feet eight, okay? Look at this shirt. This she is down to her shirt. knees. Look at these pants. They're like three times the size of her. She walks. She looks like she has a load in the back of her pants. <laughs> it hangs down she like this. She is just, she looks like she gets the clothes out of the garbage can. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Where did she get those clothes? Her father. From me. She wears all my <laughs> clothes. clothes. All my pants, my His belt, oh. my, my shirts. Artie took some home video to show us firsthand what goes on at home with Erica's wardrobe. Let's take a look. Oh, God. This is my daughter, Erica, Sally. I want you to see what she looks like. She has on my shirt. She has on my pants. Look how she wears these pants, Sally. Look, my belt. Turn around. This is how she walks around. This is Erica's drawer where she keeps all her clothes, all my clothes, okay? All my sweatshirts. My sweatshirts. She even, Sally. My underwear. She wears my underwear. Make her look like a 12-year-old girl, not like a 12-year-old boy. Thank you. <laughs> Artie, what does she do with your underpants? I'm just curious. She wears them. <laughs> she wears your she underpants? She wears them. Let's sleeps in it, walks around in it. Let's bring her out and see what the fuss is about, Erica. Come on out. Look, 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 my belt, my pants, look at her. Look at her hair, she has red Kool-Aid She puts Kool-Aid in her hair. I used to, Kool I used to drink hair. it. Look at the color. Now she puts it in her hair. Uh -huh. Look at the color. Erica, yeah. what is the thing with Kool-Aid in your hair? I like it. Now your, your parents have begged us to give you a very dramatic makeover and make you look like a really nice young lady. 
Okay. Rather than a homeless boy. <laughs> you want to look like this, Erica. Look at are you. you. Come on, you're, look at you're one of the youngest hair. makeovers we've had. Are you are you willing to do yes. this? Yeah, I guess so. All right. <laughs> there you go. Erica isn't the only member of the family whose appearance is a problem. This you're Erica's grandmother? Yes, I am. This pretty lady is named Dorothy, and she's not only upset about Erica, but she has you have another granddaughter yes, who I is sixteen. And her mm -hmm. name is Antoinette. Yes. It Beautiful is. name. Does she look like Marie Antoinette? I uh, know. She looks like something from out of Playboy magazine. <laughs> Playboy? Tell me, what what does she do, Grandma? Oh, she likes to dress up. Oh, I have some of her things here. A halter. This. She loves sheer clothing. This is to go to the corner store. So this is one granddaughter yeah. and you have another. Completely opposite. Aha. Uh -huh. Does Antoinette attract the wrong crowd? Yes, yeah, she does. I, I, I'm ashamed to walk with her. I feel like they think I'm her madam. <laughs> she has, she has, not her own name, she has men stopping all the way women. down here in she the limo. Women, women at also. Her. I and coming she down women here, looking at her. coming down here in the limousine. The window. You see out the window. Hi, guys. The car Hi, guys. The They're stopping. Oh, they stop short. Let's see, Antoinette. Oh Antoinette, come on out. <laughs> Antoinette, your grandma and your aunt and your uncle are kind of worried about the way you look. What do you say to them? I could dress the way I want. I could handle myself. You're 16 no, you and you can handle 16. yourself? I can handle myself. No, you okay. Can't. Dorothy shot home video of Antoinette with her favorite clothes. Let's take a look. The corner grocery store. Sexy mama. Look at I don't even wear stockings this year. To the laundromat. Or just walking down the street. Talk about sheer. Down to the navel. My granddaughter loves sheer clothes. And tonight we are going to do a makeover on you to look what we think is more presentable. Are you game for this? Oh, for my grandmother, yeah. For your grandmother. You know what? Why? <laughs> when we come back, the results. What can we do with them? Don't believe your eyes. Jump away. Well, I told you that we've assembled a team of specialists, and they've had their work cut out for them today. Let me introduce to you the experts who have performed all of the makeovers on the teens today. I think may, many of you probably recognize our personal hairstylist. This is Richard Penna from Richards of Hamden. And every day, you see me all dressed up, and I hope nicely dressed up. I think so. The person responsible for that is Cynthia Rafa Rickman. And 
They've been joined today by Rondi Cooler, who is the fashion director of YM Magazine. Rondi, you look like a teen yourself. What was going on backstage? She started young. What's going on backstage? Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Hair, makeup, clothes, jewelry. But Everything. We've totally transformed them and made them look fabulous, so they look good for themselves and for their moms. All right, Richard and Cynthia, you had your work cut out. I told you this was going to be this tough. Was, the green hair <laughs> threw us, but we, but we got it. We got it. This is a tough case. These are very tough cases. I know uh, that we're all dying to see the makeovers and how they turned out, so let's get to it. Do you remember what 12-year-old Sheena and 13-year-old Colby looked like? There they were. <laughs> Mom, they love themselves. The, the son wears makeup and the daughter, I don't know. Uh, take a look at them now. Looks like a guy. Now remember, kids, you can go back to the way you look in an hour and a half. No, 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 no. They love it. Can we ask if they Next, like it? who could forget 17-year-old Tracy? Remember what Tracy looked like before. This was green hair. This was not easy. Well, let's take a look at Tracy now. She's back. Yeah. She's back. Now, who could forget? Who's next? Tracy? Tria. Who could forget Tria? This is what she looked like before. Yes, you remember? All right. Tria, come on out and show us your new look. to get her in a dress because she looks amazing. You have a gorgeous daughter. And it's oh. not really frilly and florally, but it definitely works for her and, and she liked it. Look at her body. Look at her body. She looks amazing. Look at her body. You all look absolutely great. And there's four more teens waiting backstage to show off their new looks. When we come back, we'll see if uh, Leah's makeover will help her feel better about herself. Okay, more comfortable with the popular kids at school. Stay with us.
12-year-old Erica look like? There she is. Remember what was mom saying? That she only wore these baggy clothes and everything? All right. They all look like they're in a lineup at the police department, by the way. Let's take a look at Erica now. Shot. I can't believe it. Doesn't I, she look adorable? She looks fantastic. <laughs> this is a 13 year old girl. Huh? Come on. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Good. Yeah, good job. Really good. Now, remember what Erica's cousin, 16 year old Antoinette, looked like. Here she was. There's Antoinette. Grandmother, she always dresses like that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at La Jolie Antoinette. mom, Beth, used to enter her in the beauty pageants. And she just didn't want to be Miss Massachusetts anymore. And uh, talk about baggy clothes. Okay, let's let Tori walk the runway once more. Tori, come on out. Last but not least, who could forget Leah? Ted, there's Leah. All right. Leah, we're not crazy. I was going to go tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. I want you to know that Cynthia, can you oh go? Yes. I'm gonna All go. right. Oh. Cynthia and my cameraman are going to school with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody looks at her cross-eyed on that bus, who's going? Which one is going? Anybody know who's going? I, if anybody looks at her cross-eyed on the bus. Yeah. Boom! 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 Boom!
I just wanted to say that you all look really, really beautiful, but I really think it's what's in here that counts. So however you're happy. I want to say to Leah, I mean, you're a masterpiece. I mean, you always was Aww. a good looking girl. And if you ever come back in this part, you can find a friend in me. Oh, I love Aww. her. That's good. Thank you. It's exciting, huh? Here comes the bus. The moment of truth. I'm nervous. Hey, what's up? Uh, when people on the bus said, oh, Leah, you look fabulous. He did not even recognize me. I looked at her like that, and I went like that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> This bus ride was a thrill. It was the ride of my life. You don't need a penny to have polish and to have good manners. It'll take you very, very far. I want to thank the people who did this miraculous uh, makeover. I think you just look gorgeous. Yeah. See you in about six months. Thank you. Some members of our audience will receive and a promotional fee has been provided by...